and I give the floor to Dr. Nargiza Kojaeva, technical lead on NCDs and health through the life course from the office of the WHO representative in Cambodia. Uh, Dr. Nargiza yes. Kojaeva, the floor is yours. Yeah, good morning, dear colleagues. It's a great pleasure and honor to uh, join this important meeting. And uh, I am not alone. I am with my team, with uh, Dr. Darawood, his technical officer uh, in my team, uh, helping uh, with uh, climate change as one of uh, many programs within our uh, NCG and health throughout the life course program. Uh, Dr. Vibol, uh, Mr. Cybros, and uh, Mr. Sopara. So welcome you all. Um, so you can move forward, please. Next slide. Alexandra. Alexandra, you can. I hope you see the next time now. Yeah. I'm yeah, projecting the key projects. Thank you. Uh, within this uh, GF project, uh, we have been implementing uh, with the uh, Ministry of Health and other ministries like Ministry of Education, Youth and uh, Sport. Uh, with Phnom Penh University, with uh, uh, Provincial Health Department, and in close collaboration with UNDP. We have three main um, objectives. Uh, the first one is on the capacity building and governance. The second is on uh, uh, improved surveillance and early warning system. And the third outcome is on climate resilience, uh, health service delivery. Next, please. So uh, from the beginning, we have established uh, two uh, technical working groups at national level and at provincial level. And Ratanakiri province is our uh, pilot province. Next one, please. Uh, one of the achievements of the projects in the beginning, uh, uh, the Ministry of Health signed the agreement on data sharing between the MOH and Ministry of uh, Meteorology and Water Resources uh, for early warning system. Uh, it's worth to mention that uh, for the first time, this data sharing is free of charge and it's, uh, it's strengthened the early warning system in Cambodia. Next one. So uh, the government has endorsed the National Climate Change Action Plan for Public Health for 2020-2024 and it's uh, under implementation. Next one. Uh, under the first outcome, uh, we have uh, supported technically uh, the Phnom Penh University, and for the first time, uh, climate change and health uh, topic was integrated to master program in this university and endorsed. Next one. Uh, under outcome two, there is a big progress uh, that rapid uh, diagnostic test usage guideline was developed and serious trainings have been done uh, through uh, nationwide. Next one, please. Mm -hmm. SOP for rapid risk plan integrated with the dengue surveillance system and the early warning system developed. Next one. Uh, one of the main uh, groundwork is under the third outcome, uh, which focused on uh, the improvement of wash system at health centers and at the community. As a first stage, uh, we have developed wash assessment tools and we have done thorough assessment uh, in 25 health centers and 75 villages. And thank, thank you so much to my team. You can see illustration from the field. Next one. So these are our uh, field missions to Ratanakiri uh, of my team, uh, together with Provincial Health Department and the Ministry of Health Preventive Medicine Department uh, to assess uh, villages uh, and uh, health centers in terms of WASH. Next one. Based on that uh, big assessment, uh, we have uh, developed, we have made the report on WASH in health centers in Ratanakiri province and the final report on WASH in communities in 75 villages. Next one, please. Next one, thank you. This is a... Uh, uh, climate resilient water safety plan for health centers and communities, which we have developed in the consultation with a uh, technical working group uh, and the uh, rural, uh, water rural uh, department uh, at Red Ratanakiri province under the leadership of the Ministry of Health. Next one, please. Next. 
Yeah, Alexandra, you can move to the next slide. Uh, these are our uh, uh, achievements until now. Yes, we have, yeah. yes, we have improved uh, wash infrastructure in 10 health facilities in Ratanakiri. So you can see uh, the pictures with the name of health centers, Balung Health Center and uh, uh, others uh, with improved uh, wash uh, infrastructure there. And I have to mention this is a remote areas and uh, very important that uh, we have focused vulnerable population. There are many villages with uh, indigenous population. So our aim was this grounds up approach uh, in line with for the future uh, paper in Vipro and also to reach, to reach most vulnerable and marginalized people. So next one. Yeah, these are other health center in Kahnaj, health center in Kunmo. So you can see the work on the ground. Next one. Sorry, it's, it's not. Can you hear me, Alexandra? We can hear you. Um, yeah, but slide is not moving on my screen. Maybe mm -hmm. it's can with my. Sorry, the mic is not first. I'm projecting yeah. the challenges. Yeah, okay. The challenges and lessons learned. The, of course, the challenge now is a COVID pandemic uh, lockdown, uh, which is now a bit released. Uh, however, it uh, uh, affected our um, activities implementation uh, in the provinces. However, uh, the lessons learned and opportunities is a strong leadership and ownership by the government uh, and coordination by the Ministry of Health. Also, it's a strong commitment from the team uh, to go to the field and uh, to do this work together with communities, with uh, uh, village sub, uh, support groups, and also with provincial health department. Um, another uh, advantage is a, a technical support uh, from uh, WHOHQ, from VPRO, uh, as one WHO and intersectoral uh, collaboration. Next one, please. So maybe it's not moving on my slide. So I would like to uh, finalize. For our next steps are within approved uh, work plan on each uh, three uh, outcomes. Uh, we will continue. And the main uh, goal is to uh, cover all 25 health centers and the 75 villages uh, with uh, wash facilities uh, by the end of 2023. Thank you so much for your attention and for giving uh, us this opportunity uh, to present our case study. Thank you, over to you. Thank you so much, Dr. Hochaeva, and my apologies for the unstable connection and difficulties um, uh, related to that. It's okay, thank you. Thank you so much for this great overview. Uh, with this, I would like to hand over to 